Welcome to your tutorial using CitationMachine.net. You can find the website on www.CitationMachine.net. Um, I used to use other sources like EasyBib, but since I started teaching psychology, which we do APA style, um, I have since moved over to use citationmachine.net. There are a lot of great resources that have MLA citation generators for free, uh, but from my knowledge, Citation Machine is the only one that has APA uh, citation generators for free. So once you get onto the home page, you will see this page that you see in front of you now. You can choose whichever formatting you need, whether it's APA, MLA, Chicago style, or others. For our purposes, we will go ahead and click APA. Once you cl click on APA, it's going to give you many options. It's going to say, do I want to cite a book, a magazine, a newspaper, website, a journal, film. Uh, for the purposes of this class, we will predominantly use websites and journals. Um, some newspapers, but we're focusing on a lot of the psychological psychology journals um, and some websites. Uh, if you need other sources, you can go ahead and choose other and it will give you many different options for you to choose from. So I've already found a resource that I want us to practice going ahead and creating a citation for. This is found on the website Psych Central. The title is called Avoidant Personality Disorder Symptoms. We have an author. And let's see if we can follow the directions from Citation Machine to make this an easy citation. So it is a website, so we're going to start by clicking Website. And then the first thing you need to do is you need to switch it over from Autofill mode to Manual Entry mode. The Autofill mode does not work well all the time. My recommendation is that you always go ahead and put a little bit more work into the Manual Entry mode. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit so we can see everything here. The article title, we're going to go back to the article title. It is called Avoidant Personality uh, Disorder Symptoms. So then I'm going to go back to here and I'm just going to copy and paste it in. So Avoidant Personality Disorder Symptoms. We do have an author. So what I typically do when we have an author, I'm going to copy their entire name and I actually just put it down on a, another field so I can just copy it over. So we have Steve. We don't have a middle initial for him. His last name is Bressert. Um, and then we can add the PhD. So now I can erase this scroll down further. If you have multiple authors, you can go ahead and click this link right here where it says add another contributor and then you can as many as you want to. Um, and since I only have one, I'm just going to remove them, but you can fill it out in that way. Then it asks us for the online publication information. So it asks us for the URL first. I'm going to go ahead back to our screen, copy the URL, go back to our citation generator, paste that in. Looks good. Then I'm going to go ahead and look at what day it was electronically published, which we did have that information. Uh, or I thought we had that information. So, so we have right here, uh, scientifically reviewed, last reviewed, uh, April 10th, 2015, it doesn't look like we have it. Ooh, so sometimes uh, sites will give us information like you have down here. Um, so this is the actual correct APA reference sheet. Let's see if we can generate the exact same one. So we do not know what year this was published. Um, it doesn't say it on the actual site, but it gives us right here in their reference, so we know it is from 2015. I'm going to go back to the generator and just say it was electronically published sometime as 2015. Then I'm going to say date access is today. 
And then all you need to do is go ahead and click Create Citation. Once we have that, it's going to say Brassert S, PhD, 2015, um, Avoidant Personality Disorder Retrieved, Today's Date, uh, and then from whatever website. So let's see what they had on the bottom of theirs, and theirs would be different just because of the date that they have when they retrieved it. So the only thing different is they didn't add the PhD, and so that's something that's fine whether you have it or not. So at this screen, I've seen a lot of students do this, copy and paste it. Please don't do that, because if you copy and paste, you are going to have this yellow color as a background to your text. Citation Machine has made it very easy for us. They have allowed us to have this button that says copy and paste. We just click it, and that has copied the correct format. Your citation is now copied to your clipboard. And then you can go ahead and let's open up a new document. And then if I paste that in, it is going to be without that yellow color. Um, I will have you notice that they always do this one space here before the actual citation. Please do get rid of that. Don't forget that you need to do the hanging indentation. So one way you can do that is highlight, move the triangle one uh, half inch to the right, and then move the bar back to the left. And that would be a correct way for us to do the hanging indentation. For a complete reference page, we definitely want to make sure that we have references up at the top. And we also want to make sure that we have it double spaced and we can get rid of that space that I added. You want to make sure that everything is alphabetical order from the beginning. So anytime we don't have an author, you would have the name of the article um, here to begin. So every all the resources that you use needs to be on this reference page in the correct APA uh, format and in, with the hanging in debt and all in alphabetical order. Citation Machine makes it really easy for us to figure out our um, our citations and actually as I build more all of my citations are going to correctly come down here and it is going to do it in the correct order so I will have the alphabetical order and you can actually wait until you're done putting everything in citation machine and then download it to Word and then it's going to um, generate the entire page for us in the correct format uh, except that weird space in the beginning all right, so I hope this makes it a lot easier for you. When I was in school, we had to do this all by hand and memory. So uh, Citation Machine definitely has saved us time and headaches. So good luck, and if you have any questions, email me. Thank you.